Oh well, guess what this is? Yep, it's Anthony Gormley's Angel of the North. Wow, it's quite impressive. Yep, located just south of Newcastle, we just had to stop off to see this monument in the flesh, or rather, still. After a 280 mile trip, we arrive at the Fisherman's Cottage in New Biggin by the sea. It's our base for the next six days. Located just a few paces from the beach and just as close to an Italian restaurant, Dua Fletelli is an ideal location on the beautiful northeast coastline. It's early October and this was a last minute booking as the weather for the northeast looked good for the whole week. So we have a packed itinerary to look forward to. We're very happy with our Cody cottage and its amenities. We love the attention to detail in this cottage and its fisherman's heritage too. So, time for an exploratory walk before dinner. New Biggin's name means building or house. New Biggin was a former coal mining town and for centuries a port shipping grain, nowadays a scaled down fishing town. New Biggin's lifeboat station dates from 1851 and is the oldest operational station in the UK and with 16 gallantry awards. Wow! Seeing folk out on the rocks with cameras, we take a closer look and I get a reasonable shot of a dolphin. St Bartholomew's Church, standing on Church Point near the sea cliffs, dates from around the 11th to the 14th century. Only 79 years to go before this time capsule was opened. An arresting sight out to sea is a large sculpture by Sean Henry called The Couple. In Shaw is a smaller version in bronze. <laughs> I'm not sure they'd be too happy with that, but there you go. A weather-worn hoarding echoes New Biggin's industrial past and nearby Woodhorn had a coal mine, now a heritage centre too. Beach erosion meant thousands of tonnes of sand were brought up from Skegness. Biggin's promenade and bay is 1.5 kilometers long and as you stroll along and look out to sea the couple can be viewed from varying perspectives as you reach the southern end of the bay. Yep, I was waiting for her to fall in. The Maritime Centre we'd no time to visit sadly, but well worth a visit I gather. As we'll see later in my series of videos, Northumberland has some stunning coastline. A walk back through the town before heading home and out to dinner. Dua Fratelli. The following morning I'm up and out to be greeted by a magnificent sunrise. Wow! 
great start to the day before our trip to Cragside. Thank you.